India has once again recorded its deadliest day in the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak. The country has recorded its biggest single-day surge in COVID-19 cases and deaths today. India reported 9,996 new infection cases and 357 deaths in just the last 24 hours. With this, India has now surpassed the 8,000 mark as far as death toll is concerned in the country. India has reported over 286,500 cases and 8,102 COVID-19 fatalities till now. On the screen you can see the graph showing India's single day jump over the last seven days. The country witnessed one of the deadliest weeks with over 9,000 cases being registered every single day. Maharashtra, Delhi, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat continue to remain the virus hotspots across India. Maharashtra, the worst affected state, has reported over 94,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases with more than 3,400 deaths. The national capital, New Delhi, has reported more than 32,800 cases and over 900 fatalities. <laughs> Meanwhile, doctors and health experts have warned that the city is yet to hit its peak and numbers are expected to rise over the coming weeks. COVID-19 cases are expected to rise to more than 550,000 in Delhi by the end of July. The southern state of Tamil Nadu has recorded over 36,000 confirmed cases with more than 300 deaths so far. During the inaugural address on the occasion of the 95th annual plenary session of the Indian Chamber of Commerce, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi emphasized the importance to transform the country into a self-reliant nation during his address. He pointed out the significance of a self-reliant nation and urged citizens to work towards enhancing India's economic growth via self-manufacturing and production. हम देखते हैं परिवार में भी संतान बेटा हो या बेटी 18-20 साल का हो जाता है तो माँबाप उसे सबसे पहले कहते हैं कि अपने पैरों पर खड़े रहना सीखो हर परिवार में सुना होगा आप जो मुझे सुन रहे हैं सबने सुना होगा कि 18-20 साल की उम्र में उनके माँ बाप ने उनको कहा होगा कि बेटे बेटी अब अपने पैरों पर खड़े रहना सीखो एक तरह से आत्मनिर्भर भारत का पहला पाठ परिवार से ही शुरू होता है भारत को भी अपने पैरों पर ही खड़े होना होगा 